welcome back i hope you have a great day and making it beautiful one for you well in this video we will learn how to use your smartphone as a trackpad mouse or keyboard in windows 11 so without any further ado let's get started first you need to install an app that is called pc remote in your smartphone and similarly in your windows 11 you have to install this app from the website check the link in the description you should visit monac.com to install this similar app so in your smartphone you have to install pc remote once you install the pc remote app in your smartphone visit to the following url website to download the pc remote app so my friend in my case it is showing a warning message that this website is not secure so maybe in your case also show this message i am using currently microsoft edge so you can use another browser but don't worry so what is the solution of that simply go to another tab and download its alternative search for pc remote monac at the enter you will find thousands of websites from you can download this pc remote desktop app except this website because it is showing a warning message you have to visit another website so let me check from here you can also download this app and my friend you will find thousands of websites on google from you can download monact pc remote desktop app so except from this website because it's showing an error even my friend this is official website of monact.com and from i have also downloaded pc remote app from this website i don't know why at this time this is showing an warning message even last night i have downloaded that app but anyways you can download this alternative from another website once you have downloaded this app let me show you this is app. you have to simply open this now at this time i will connect my smart phone with bluetooth so make sure your pc has built-in bluetooth adapter or you can use if your cpu does not have built-in bluetooth adapter you can use an external bluetooth adapter you can buy it, it is very cheap its price is only five dollar my cpu also have not built-in bluetooth adapter i have bought it separately once you have installed it simply open pc remote mobile app now on the right bottom you can see connect simply here you have three different options wi-fi bluetooth usb i will use bluetooth as i click on bluetooth so it will automatically detect my device now you can close your pc app its need is no more you can simply close it you even you don't need to open your desktop app because it is just required to install that's it and it's simply connect on the top right you can see maximize window so there are different options you can see the trackpad there is the left key there is the right key and the middle and it here you have the scroll bar so on the top you can see the different options you can explore them one by one i will just show you a demo so you can see it's working very very well so let me show you if i go to windows icon and right click on that and you can see there are different options and the most important thing is that it's working very smooth it's like a trackpad it have no lagging on my and i have connected with bluetooth so you can try different options there you have different options wi-fi bluetooth and usb and uh, you can see we very very smooth it's working like a touchpad it's very very smooth and my friend there are different options you can use your smartphone as a keyboard as well as you can see let me first of all open any notepad app so that i can show you clearly if i search for now i want to search for for example i can open the keyboard and i will search for notepad as you can see it's working very very smooth that is how you can use it as a keyboard as well so my friend that is how you can use your smartphone as a trackpad mouse or whatever you can use it to your windows pc so i hope this helps you and if it did so make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just to subscribe ring the bell that you my friend don't miss out any other feature tips tricks or tutorials so meet in the next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating